Christian greetings, everyone, in these last days of life on earth. This week's Truth Provided audio clip is a bit different than most. A friend of the ministry sent me an audio clip that I think you will enjoy. It may seem a bit comical at first, but after listening to it, you will notice the seriousness of the matter. It's an audio clip that displays in a simple sort of way just how ridiculous Christmas celebrations can be. And the nice thing about it is, it's all 100% true and everyone knows it. So with that said, let's listen to the clip. Here's a birthday scene. Darling, I've decided to have a big birthday party for you. Wonderful. On December 25th. That's not my birthday. I know, I know. But we'll just say it's your birthday. That's your ex-boyfriend's birthday. Oh, that's okay. I've decided to call it your birthday. No, it's not okay. Why don't you just pick any day that's not your ex-boyfriend's birthday? Aren't you interested in what's true and what's pleasing to me? Even enough to find out my real birthday? Now, now, don't get upset. I've decided we'll just say it's your birthday. And I've sent out the invitations and everyone is doing it, so that makes it okay. It does. You wouldn't want me to change the date and inconvenience anyone. I've decided it's okay. You've decided. I'd be pleased if you would just take my hand and follow me and spend a few moments with me. Later, later. No time now. I have invited all the family. My father and mother and Uncle Bill and Cousin Betty and Ernie and all the kids and grandkids and, oh, the children will love it. Do it for the children. They deserve it. For the children. I see. A day to exalt family. And you call it my birthday? Makes me think you love family more than me. Oh, you'll love it, too. I've decided, and we'll all give gifts to each other. This is supposed to be my birthday, yet you give gifts to others? Why? And I'll decorate the house, red ribbons and bows and... Red? Red is your ex-boyfriend's favorite color. I like blue and green. Blue skies, blue seas, green grass, trees, birds. Oh, I'm putting up a green tree and decorating it with gold and silver balls. And we'll put gifts under it. Like the idolaters throughout history. Every green tree. That's idolatry. Oh, and I'll have to buy gifts and do lots of shopping and... So the God of Mammon will get his. It'll be worth it. I'll decorate and bake cookies and fruitcake and... Sounds like you'll be really busy. Come away, my beloved, and spend a little time with me. A walk by the river or a... Later, later, darling. I'll be busy and you'll love it. I've decided. The hustle and the bustle and... Oh, yes. I've decided to have a nice baked ham. Charred swine's flesh. On what you say is my birthday and is not. Who's in charge here? Why do you just do your thing and assume that I'll put my stamp of approval on it? If you love me, why do you not do the things that I say? Why do you not do things my way? You don't even know me. I suppose the next thing you'll do is dress your ex-boyfriend in a red suit and have him drop down the chimney. Huh? Isn't that amazing how the truth can be so refreshing when displayed in a light that most people don't expect? I like this clip, and I hope you share it with as many people as possible. Sometimes a bit of bluntness shared in a humorous manner like this can get people to realize just how unchristlike they look to others that know what they're doing is wrong and choose not to do it. This is Nicholas from Presence of God Ministry saying, Until next time, I pray the Lord blesses you and yours with the desire to be the Christian He created you to be. Thank you for listening, and remember, the truth is provided in the Word of God.